Here's your coffee, Dr. Stewart. You're late. That's the third time this week, Mrs. Farley. I couldn't find my glasses this morning. I have a meeting at 10, and you've double booked me, so cancel my other appointments this morning. I need a new secretary. Mrs. Farley. Mrs. Farley, this letter is to inform you that your employment with Dr. David Stewart is being terminated. You are being let go for the following reasons. You are consistently late, you are forgetful, and my coffee is cold. I need someone who is consistent, organized, with 20-20 vision, and preferably younger. Signed, Dr. David Stewart. Yes, Mrs. Farley? A client, now? I thought I told you to cancel my morning appointments. Mrs. Farley? Where did Mrs. Farley go? Oh, she told me it was her grandson's second birthday, and so she had to go and buy a cake. Uh, isn't that so nice? I would just love to have grandkids. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought she had canceled my appointments this morning. She also gave me this candy before she left, and if I ever became a secretary, I would give out candy too. Except not like this. I have an appointment in a half an hour. I really don't have time. Oh, this won't take long. So you are Mrs. Green. Sarah Green, but my friends call me Sadie. Can I call you Dave? I think you should get your clients to call you Dr. Dave. It sounds more approachable. I'll stick with Dr. Stewart. So, what brings you here today, Miss Green? I'm drowning in a bottomless pit of despair. Sometimes people say things that hurt my feelings. Like they'll say, Sarah, would you please just stop talking? You're hurting my ears. Do you think that you talk too much? Hey. What's this? Don't read You're... that. Wait. You're firing Mrs. Farley? But she's Don't so nice. That. I can't believe you. You're such a horrible... Hey, wait. Does that mean you need a new secretary? Well, that would be the point. All right, say no more. I will do it. Do what? You've caught me at the perfect time. I have always wanted to be a secretary. Now, first of all, we're gonna have to organize these books. Put them in alphabetical order. No. Then, we'll have no. to paint this place no. bright orange to make it more You happy. are not going to be my secretary. Now, beggars can't be choosers, but do you think a little bit more like a neon orange color here or more of a tropical mango? No. Well, we're gonna have to rearrange these books. I can't believe you kept them in this order. This is so unprofessional. You can't be my new secretary. Also, like enough with this licorice. Like I'll eat it, but who actually likes it? Mrs. Farley does. What are you saying? I am not firing Mrs. Farley. Oh, okay. I'll see my neighbor and see if I can paint her house orange. It's such a pretty color, don't you think? <sighs> Mrs. Farley, I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciate you. You are a natural. Just doing my job. Mm -hmm.